Atlas is a test vehicle, and we're using that test vehicle to demonstrate in flight-relevant conditions our solid fuel ramjet. I've been at GE for 38 years and spent a lot of time with aircraft that go Mach 0.8 and fly families across the Atlantic, or fighters that go Mach 1.6 or higher to go Mach 4, 5, 6 plus is exciting. Everyone we talk to gets excited about hypersonics. I think the challenge for us is continuing to evolve and grow the technology that meets an operational need for the warfighter, to watch the team get behind that mission and watch them evolve product offerings to address that and give our military the capability they need to go and defend freedom has been really exciting. The F-104 Starfighter uh, can get up to Mach 2.2, and that's a pretty good speed to demonstrate ignition and sustainment of our solid fuel ramjet. The collaboration with Starfighters was fundamental to us being able to provide comprehensive tests that we had a lot of confidence would do what we wanted it to do. Well, we think it gave them a great opportunity to do testing of relatively small payload packages without having to go to the extent of trying to launch them from a ground location. This test is critical because it takes us from a lab environment from a ground test environment into a flight relevant environment. It's really the next logical step before we actually fly the vehicle on its own. It gives us enough confidence in the propulsion system that we can move on to that next phase.